Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. I make videos about interview preparation, HR questions and how I got selected for the major IT companies. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. So, I recently participated in the Nagaro on campus drive at my college and I would like to share my experience in it. So, as for the procedure, Nagaro has basically three steps. First is the written test. Second is the technical interview and the last is the HR interview. Uh, on my campus, Nagaro came for particular two profiles. One was the software developer offering 6 LPA and the another was commando software developer offering 8 LPA. So as for the written test, uh, it is basically divided into two parts. First is the aptitude and the DSA MCQs. Uh, I think 60 minutes were given to us for that and the level was very easy, like easy to moderate. It was, you know, very easy to do. Second was the coding round. It consisted of five questions. Um, in coding round, what happens like there are two sections. One is the SD section consisting of three coding questions and one is the CSD section consisting of two coding questions. So in all five questions, um, the level was very difficult. Um, we were given like about 2.5 hours or 2 hours for that particular section and uh, like I believe that this is the you know main challenge in you know getting selected for Nagaro this particular coding round because the questions are of good level uh, there's one more thing I'd like to mention that after the aptitude test we had of like 15 to 20 minute break and then the coding round started Although the aptitude and the MCQ round was not an elimination round, just mentioning that there was a little break there. Okay, so as for the aptitude MCQs, um, it mainly, you know, revolves around the topics that we have studied back in our class 10th, like simple interest, profit loss, percentages, equations, all that. Um, they were very easy to do. And if you have like a decent amount of practice also, you will be able to like solve the questions. As for the DSA MCQs, uh, the topics were like the array, strings, linked list, trees, very general, very basic questions like what all are the functions of arrays, very easy questions. Uh, you know, to practice all these MCQs, you can always refer to the GFG questions and the IndiaBix uh, website. These websites are legit saviors like they have good amount of questions and I believe the difficulty level is very much similar to that of Nagaro. Okay, so now moving to the coding round, uh, like I mentioned, the questions were not easy. Uh, I had questions from dynamic programming, greedy, and I remember that one of them was from graphs also. Um, I also, I remember that in greedy, I had one of the questions from activity selection problem. It was easy. So uh, there's one thing about Nagaro is that the questions are like very much in a story format and a lot of things are given. You have to figure out like what type of data structure should be used here. So you, you can, you know, always practice all these questions on CodeChef uh, for the format. Okay. After this, uh, the results came and fortunately I got shortlisted. Uh, there's one tip in the coding section is that try to attempt all of the questions like even if only one or two test cases are passing, just try. Uh, just try to, you know, cover all the questions. I personally felt that it helped me clear this particular round also. So yes, uh, I got selected for the next round. As for the next round, uh, there were interviews. I got selected for the software developer profile, the SD profile. And there are two interviews for that. One is the technical and the second is the HR. So... When my HR interview began, I entered the meeting and uh, the in the interviewer, instead of asking me to introduce myself, he just started asking me some two to three basic questions like what my preferred language is, what my preferred subjects are and what my current CGP is, you know, just to directly get to the point and not waste time in the introduction. He just asked me those questions. After I mentioned that I have, uh, I use C++ and my subjects are DBMS and OOPS, he started asking me questions from each of these, you know, particular aspects. And he also mentioned that he'll be asking a riddle in the end. So uh, he asked me, what is a copy constructor? And asked me to like write two to three lines of code for that, like the basic syntax of that. He asked me what are OOPS concepts and how C++ is an OOPS language. In this question, basically, we, he wanted to see like how C++ uses the concepts of inheritance, abstraction, encapsulation and polymorphism. So you can like state examples. 
like public protected and private so you can specify that you can say that classes and objects can be created in c++ which is the basic foundation of object oriented programming and you can create sub classes and you can inher inherit them from their parent classes so you can just elaborate all that for this particular question after that uh, he jumped to my projects and discussed about like what all i had done and why i you know chose that particular topic um, just random questions like what type of tech stack i am using for the particular project and when did i create it how long did it uh, take for me to make it and have i hosted it or not just very basic random things after the discussion was done uh, he then he asked me a riddle uh, the riddle was like suppose if i have two bu uh, buckets one has three uh, one has a 3 liter capacity and another one has a 5 liter capacity and uh, i have to you know measure exactly 4 liters of water uh, using both the buckets like and i can use as much uh, amount of water as i want to to measure exactly 4 liters i'll be mentioning the solution of this particular riddle in my description box or either in my comment section so you can go check it uh, check it out there uh, there's one tip like normally riddles are not asked but uh, a lot of interview riddles are available on the internet you can search them and you know go through 15 or 20 riddles you will get a basic gist of like how to solve them and you know how to approach them it would be good if by chance uh, the interviewer ask you something like that okay so after the interview lasted for only about 15 to 20 minutes and after i was done with it uh, in an hour i received a mail from the hr at nagaro that i was shortlisted for the hr interview which was supposed to happen the next day so the next day uh, in the hr interview uh, the recruiter he asked me to introduce myself after that he asked me like any new skill that I have learned in the lockdown, like technically or personally, any of the soft skills, I mentioned those. Then he asked like, one of the classic questions like, where do I see myself in the next five years? Uh, one tip for this particular question, you know, don't just go crazy with this question and just don't go, don't say that I'll be the CEO or I'll be at your position. Don't say these answers. Give a practical and a you know achievable answer to this. Like you can say that maybe taking on leads or at some projects, and also uh, mention your answer in the format like you see yourself working at that particular company. For example, I said that I see myself working at Nagaro and you know working on various projects, establishing my credibility with the team. Mention the company's name. It it suggests the interview that you are very much interested and you see a future with the company. Okay. Then he asked me like how would I rank myself in my class or in my IT department. Um, then he asked me about my strengths and weaknesses. Uh, one more tip as for the weaknesses, whenever you ask to like uh, mention something not very positive about yourself or something in general, which is very not uh, good, you can always, you know, mention the solutions also to that. Like um, for weaknesses, I mentioned that I find it difficult to manage time. So I immediately in the next line, I answered that, but I'm working on it and I have started, you know, breaking down my longer tasks into shorter tasks and I've started, uh, you know, putting up deadlines to them. I have started marking reminders on my phone, on post-its and I, you know, keep a track so that I don't lose on time. So you can, you should always suggest a solution to it with your, like with your weakness. Okay, so then he asked me like, how do I manage any conflicts in a team? General answer. Uh, and in the end, he asked me if I had any questions uh, that I want to ask. I asked like, what was his experience at Nagaro and the working environment? Just random things about the company. And then I was done with the interview. This too lasted for about 10 to 15 minutes, not more than that. I believe the interviews were very short for me, like because Nagara was recruiting a lot of students from our campus. So they were not like willing to spend a lot of time on a particular student. That is why the interviews were short. Uh, as for the verdict, I got selected uh, for the SD profile and okay any pro tip for the company would be that uh, like i mentioned try to attempt all the questions in the coding round even if you are just able to pass one or two test cases do that and uh, since the interviews are very short uh, you know be confident try to answer everything and mm, you're good to go uh, one more tip like although it did not happen in my interviews but i've seen like interviews ask the candidates about the questions that they attempted 
in the written test the coding questions they can you know ask you about it like what approach did you use back then and how were you able to solve that so just keep those questions in mind before going to the interview just go through them once again like what all concept was being used in that and what approach are you planning to use they just want to you know discuss the questions like they would just want to make sure that you were the one who solved that question there actually that is their main focus so you can do that and this is how my interview experience went on if you have any questions or have any doubts feel free to write them in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer i'll be sharing the solution also and okay thank you bye bye